So should I join a smart contract auditing firm? Now, this is a question that I have been sort of pondering over the past couple of weeks, and I'll give you some of my thoughts on this, and you can let me know in the comments down below what you think. So basically, as you know, I work as a penetration tester in traditional cybersecurity, doing network and web application penetration tests. I found my way into smart contract auditing around January this year. Basically, I just saw someone on Twitter post a link to the damn vulnerables DeFi CTF and I just finished a red teaming cert at the time. So I thought, yeah, you know, I'll do a CTF, why not? Uh, didn't really expect to get this much into it, to be honest, at the time. But uh, I found it really interesting, uh, went down the rabbit hole a bit, and eventually found my way onto Code Arena, which I had been pretty much consistently hammering away at uh, since I made my first video on Code Arena back in April of this year. I haven't missed this single contest since then, and uh, made some pretty good progress, I would say, overall, just the learning from the previous order reports and uh, just recognizing patterns that uh, occur uh, over and over again in some of these audits. Still need to work on my creativity a bit uh, to find these unique findings. But uh, recently I actually have been finding a few unique findings. So I've gotten a total of 10 uh, high severity findings now and 17 mediums with uh, three of them, uh, three of the mediums ones uh, being unique. So, you know, overall, I'm happy with the progress. Uh, and also, by the way, I made a video about a month and a half ago uh, show, showcasing a script that I made to automatically generate a QA and gas optimization reports. And that script has actually been working really well, surprisingly. Like two of the most recent contests, I actually ranked first for a QA, uh, for the QA report that was generated from that script, um, generating me pretty good value. Um, out of it already, which um, that was, you know, really more of a proof of concept thing I wrote up in a week um, just to test if um, automating these um, QA and gas optimization reports is something worthwhile to do. So overall, quite good results, but um, I think I've still uh, gotten to the point where I feel my skill has reached a bit of a plateau, which, um, you know, after speaking to some auditors, I've spoken to a couple of uh, top auditing firms and a recruiter in this space. And if you read the blog post by C. Michelle, there seems to be a consensus where if you're sort of early career in smart contract auditing, um, it's a good idea to join an auditing firm to really solidify your methodology, which will make the learning progress uh, much faster in the beginning. Because, you know, uh, for reading previous audit reports and learning from that, there is still uh, some limitations to that, right? Even if you have the backstage role, which you can get if you find at least one high severity finding on Code Arena, you can review the findings as soon as the order contest is over. So you can pretty much review the findings when the code base is fresh in your mind. But I think even um, so, there are still certain limitations to that. Uh, for example, you don't really, you can't really get inside the mind of the auditor. Like, how did they go about finding this, uh, this particular finding? which you will get if you actually work at an auditing firm where mostly they do audits and um, a group of auditors, like two or three people are doing an audit and you can bounce ideas off each other and learn each other's methodology. So that is a really big plus um, to get into an auditing firm. Um, obviously, another thing to consider is salaries. Uh, I've done some research on this topic and uh, after speaking to some people, the salaries for entry level to sort of mid-level salaries for smart contract auditors are around 120K to 150K US. So obviously that's pretty good and it's quite comparable to like a software engineer working at a fan company, for example. And considering the fact that you can do it remotely and from anywhere in the world. Um, so if you live uh, somewhere uh, not in the US, you translate that to your local currency, which I am based in Australia. It translates to a pretty good salary with a massive upside as well. Um, now, talking about the upside, uh, this is another consideration, right? So I have noticed that 
uh, top auditors, like people who are really at the top of their game, uh, they eventually quit auditing firms and become an independent researcher, which um, they will do uh, like bug bounties on Immunify, they'll do Coterie in order contests and join Sparebit as an independent uh, security researcher. So there is this uh, sort of trend that I have noticed where people at the top of the game tend to leave companies and become independents. Um, so, you know, they're in a way also, I guess, uh, it's not compulsory to join an auditing firm uh, to become good. Uh, you can also obviously just study by yourself and Perhaps it'll be the longer road that way, but uh, you can still eventually get there as an independent because I'm pretty much already doing auto contests on Code Arena. And uh, speaking of Sparebit, I actually applied to Sparebit a couple of months back. I went through their technical assessment and culture interview as well. So hopefully I will be onboarded at Sparebit uh, fairly soon, which is pretty exciting. Um, hopefully that actually goes through, right? <laughs> because I just noticed on the Sparebit Discord, they're saying they are pausing uh, onboarding new people uh, just temporarily while they roll out a new uh, technical assessment method. Hopefully uh, my application has actually snuck through there um, just in time because I already finished the culture interview, but uh, we'll see, we'll see next week what happens. Um, it would be pretty cool to um, be onboarded to spare bit anyway, because um, on a spare bit, you can essentially work as a contractor and the salaries that they're paying for uh, security researchers are pretty insane. So for lead security researchers, they're paying 20K per audit week. For security researchers, that's 12.5K. And for apprentices, either 3K or 6K per week, depending on your experience as an apprentice. So even like at the apprentice level, you're getting some pretty high rates um, considering that, um, you know, you can, I don't think it's too hard to, you know, reach that apprentice level. Um, so overall, the salaries um, in the space has massive upside, you know, obviously, um, if you actually get to the top of your game. But I guess the only downside for Sparebit is if you are not like the top people there on Sparebit, you probably won't be assigned uh, that many uh, audits per year. Probably you only get like one or two per year or, or something like that. Um, we are currently in like the crypto bear market, so to speak at this time. So a lot of auditing activity has gone down a bit. So um, if we do see a bull market again in like a couple of years down the track and activity picks up again, uh, this could be uh, you know, a really awesome opportunity uh, to uh, be in obviously. So basically I have several options, you know, join an auditing firm, try to learn the methodology a bit better, maybe a bit faster, or just keep going on Code Arena and Sparebit and see where I end up in a couple of years, uh, position myself correctly for the next bull market in crypto. And when the audits start rolling in, that is, um, you know, when massive gains are going to be made. Now, I guess some other considerations are, I still do very much enjoy traditional penetration testing, especially internal network penetration testing and red teaming. Um, internal network tests, that's always gonna have a place close to my heart because that is the first uh, pen test I ever did. And you know, every time, um, I get an internal network pen test. It's always a good time because it really feels like hacking, right? When you think of hacking on the movies and whatever, you're trying to hack into a company's network, um, you know, steal their secrets or whatever. So it feels like hacking. It's actually really fun to do. And, uh, you know, I, I still enjoy it a lot. Um, so that's also a factor that I need to consider whether, um, you know, if I go into uh, Web3 a full time, I will be sort of leaving that uh, behind, um, so to speak. So quite a few things to consider, but uh, overall, I don't think I can go wrong with uh, either choice, uh, really. Um, it all depends on like how uh, quickly I get there, whether it's gonna be through uh, joining an auditing firm or whether an independent study is going to uh, get me there uh, quicker. So exciting times. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think and I will catch you in the next video.